My name is Brother Benedict and this is Ignite Ireland. What is your favourite chocolate bar? I'm not a big fan of chocolate, um, but if I had to choose one, uh, probably crunchy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, a good choice. <clears throat> when someone struggles with scrupulosity, what is the best way to approach Lent? I think I think that's a difficult question to answer, and I think it's one which would need an individual answer because scrupulosity is. A significant problem for certain people so I, I don't think that we would have a one-size-fits-all answer to that but I suppose in general I think the first question would be to look at what scrupulosity is and when we're thinking about what a scrupulous person should do for Lent is not just to sort of shrug and say oh I'm a scrupulous person so therefore I have a different practice for Lent than than other people do I think we have to look at the nature of the scrupulosity so for example uh, a scrupulous person very often can think that uh, it is impossible for their sins to be forgiven so when we look into the background of that that's really a lack of trust in the mercy of God so I think the first thing that the scrupulous person uh, needs to do over Lent is, is to really reflect on the nature of that scrupulosity and uh, and consider how best to address it but in terms of the more practical uh, things that a, a scrupulous person could do, I think uh, one solution might be to, to take one thing and to do it well, but not something that's quantifiable that we uh, can say, for example, um, I'm going to, you know, to take the example of one of the Exodus 90 practices, um, uh, like taking cold showers, that's a very quantifiable thing. So you can say, oh, I, I missed taking, I, I took a warm shower today instead of a cold shower. So therefore you have failed and then uh, a whole pattern of, of, of scrupulosity sets in there. So I think rather it would be something of a more general nature, such as um, over the course of Lent, I'm going to read the Bible more. But that person needs to take measures to ensure that they don't sort of have a list of like five minutes a day, 15 minutes a day. It has to be a general thing so that at the end of Lent, you can say, yes, I've read the Bible more over Lent or um, alternatively, I, I, I'm going to pray a bit more over Lent. So something quite generic, which isn't capable of being quantified so that uh, the person can't beat themselves up about it. So I think that's probably the two approaches to reflect on the scrupulosity and to take one thing, to do it well, but something which isn't quantifiable. What uh, makes dairy great? Uh, yeah, the people. The people that emerge from that place, you know. <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's a pretty pretty, uh, a pretty special calibre of people, you know. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>